Good afternoon, stroke, early evening, York Monkeys. It's John from Yorkshire Monkey. How are you doing? Right, we've got a slightly different video here. We've got several uh, misconduct hearings that are due for various police officers that have committed various crimes in the last few months. And uh, the first one is an accelerated hearing for PC Stephen Maskell. Based at North East Command Unit, the date of his hearing is Friday the 17th of September 2021 from 4pm at the Empress State Building. PC Stephen Maskell, based at North East Command Unit, will answer allegations that his conduct amounted to breaches of professional standards of professional behaviour in respect of discreditable conduct. It is alleged that just after midnight on the 5th of July 2020, PC Maskell detained a member of public, the victim, for a purpose of a search. PC Maskell was off duty and intoxicated at the time. He identified himself as a police officer and grabbed the victim, shouting that he was detaining him for the purpose of a search, despite not having the grounds to do so. On 5th of July 2020, PC Maskell was arrested on suspicion of common assault and Section 4A of the Public Order Act 1986. On the 18th of August 2020, PC Maskell was charged with the following offences. Assault by beating, contrary to Section 39 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988, and using threatening, abusive, insulting words or behaviour to cause harassment, alarm and or distress, contrary to Section 4A1 and 5 of the Public Order Act 1986. On the 17th of June 2021 at Willsden Magistrate Court, PC Maskell was convicted of common assault by beating and Section 5 Public Order Act 86. On Monday 26th of July 21 at Willsden Magistrate's Court, PC Maskell was sentenced to a 12-week community order. Curfew requirement with electronic monitoring and ordered to pay compensation and court costs. There you go looking after him. The matter set out above is alleged to amount to gross misconduct and is so serious as to justify dismissal. The hearing will be held at the Empress State Building via viewing is via video link to dedicated rooms at Empress State Building, Lily Road, SW6. So that's number one. We'll now go on to number two. So misconduct hearing number two. Former PC Robert Galloway. The date of the hearing is the 15th of September this year, commencing at 10 a.m. at the Empress State Building. The conduct that is the subject matter of the case and how conduct is alleged to amount to misconduct or gross misconduct, as the case may be, set out in the notice given in accordance with the Regulation 211. Notice for the hearing to be held in public 15th of September 2021. Former Police Constable Robert Galloway, based at the West Area Command Unit, were on some allegations that his conduct amounted to breach of the standards of professional behaviour in respect of confidentiality and discreditable conduct. It is alleged that 10th of April 2019 and 24th of April 2019, PC Galloway accessed police computer systems in relation to a road traffic collision that occurred on the 9th of April 2019 for no legitimate policing purpose. So we know what I were up to there, don't we? It is alleged that in doing so, former PC Galloway has breached the standards of professional behaviour in respect to confidentiality and discreditable conduct. So that's number two. We shall shortly go on to number three. Here we go, and case number three. Conduct that is a subject matter of the case PC and Mahmood Shah will answer allegations that his conduct amounted to a breach of standards of professional behaviour in respect of honesty and integrity and discreditable conduct. It is alleged, number one, that on the day unknown prior to 5th of February 2020, PC Shah came into possession of a blue disabled badge belonging to another but failed to take all reasonable steps to return it to its owner or promptly hand it into the police. It's further alleged, number two, 
that on the 5th of February 2020, PC Shah displayed the Ted Blue disabled badge on the dashboard of his parked motor vehicle in an attempt to evade parking restrictions. So that's theft and fraud thus far. Allegation number three is that after becoming aware that his use of the blue disabled badge was going to be investigated, he asked another officer to remove the blue badge from his vehicle in an attempt to remove evidence of his misconduct. It is further alleged, number four, allegation, that he subsequently and to date has failed to return the blue badge or hand it into the police. So, there you go, XPC Shah. You've been caught thieving, fraud, trying to cover it up and not returning it. The hearing shall take place in public and will start on Wednesday the 15th of September 2021 and will last up to three days. So, that's number three for you. Okay, folks, here is contestant number four in today's episode of I was a policeman, but I was that stupid. I got caught. Special case hearing for PC Bilal Aziz. PC Bilal Aziz will answer allegations that his conduct amounts to the breach of the standards of professional behaviour in respect of discreditable conduct. On 26th of January 2021, PC Bilal Aziz was found guilty at Romford Magistrates Court of causing criminal damage contrary to Section 1, 1 and 4 of the Criminal Damage Act 1971. He was issued with a restraining order not to contact the victim, ordered to pay £1,089.27 in compensation and cost of £625. The matter set out above amounts to gross misconduct and is so serious as to justify dismissal. So, I wasn't aware up to a couple of weeks back that you could, you could attend these uh, misconduct hearings. But, uh, yeah, you can. And it's via a video link into a, 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 a room that everybody can sit and watch it from. Now, I have no, no want to go see one, but I'm sure there's as many people that would. So look into it, folks, and get yourself off to one. Uh, something different. OK, monkeys, have an absolutely fabulous weekend. And we'll catch you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And most importantly, stay safe. See you later, monkeys.